Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today we're going to get right into it because I know everybody wants to know this. We're talking about insurance today. And uh, the insurance companies that I'm going to talk about, there's there's hundreds of insurance companies. But here's the thing. When I was doing research on this, uh, during the COVID, a lot of these companies have actually either disappeared or not in business anymore. Uh, hospitals that were normally taking patients and with this in particular insurance have stopped taking insurance. You have to really do your due diligence because guess what? Some of the policies in this last, as of uh, December the 1st, have changed. And some of the policies have changed as of December the 1st because they're getting ready 2023. What I mean is your insurance that you have, like TRICARE, some of the others, uh, through VA, uh, you may have Cigna, uh, AXA, there's Alliance, there's many companies that you may have. As of December the 1st, they're actually changing their policies. A uh, lady told me uh, yesterday, and prices are increasing. So the figures I'm going to go through today are figures based on me, my age, 67 years old. Also, this, uh, a lot of these companies will not insure anybody over 70. But I'm going to give you some options in this that actually help you get coverage over 70 years old. Now, you have to really think about this. Insurance is very important. The doctors that was here during the COVID are no longer here. A lot of the doctors have left. For an example, where I'm at, a lot of doctors have left. For me to go to the doctor, thank goodness we have a family member uh, uh, that is a doctor that we can actually go to. Uh, the And they can do a lot of things except internal. Uh, they're more of, uh, you know, breaking bones, sick, and things like that. But here, I'm going to tell you this. Very important. Three major hospitals in the Philippines, uh, St. Luke's, uh, expats live. I suggest you live not like where I live in the, in the province. I suggest you find a place close to a hospital. If you need hospital care, you may find yourself a day late and dollar short. Okay, let's get started into this. Um Today, we're going to talk about uh, Maria Health, Cigna, Geo Health, Pacific Prime, AXA, FICO. That's what I have. And uh, William Russell. Now, I do want to say this also. When you get into, uh, a lot of guys are self-insured. And that's a pro. The pro about being self-insured is a big positive thing. Uh, 5,000 card limit, 10,000 card limit may up to 20,000 US dollars because if you go in for coronary or something like that, you're going to find yourself it's going to cost uh, at least that or more. All right, this one right here is Maria Health. Uh, this particular plan does cover up to you can actually, as an adult, you can, show, uh, you can add family onto it. They give you a couple options uh, that you can actually use. This Maria Health that's going to vary, like I said. It depends on it depends on the age, your, your pre-existing conditions. Uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, your location. Now, <laughs> where do you live? Well, I live in Bukidnon. Oh, sorry, sir, we don't insure down there. So you have to really make sure that you check that out. Uh, make sure that uh, it's it's available in your area. The next we're here. If you can actually see, you can actually see some quotes here. In life, it's going to cost you eight thousand dollars a year. Uh, on their, you can get a proposal. Medicard. Now, I've talked about the Medicards before. There's limitations to Medicard. Some age. They do have a senior plan you can actually get with Medicard. Medicard itself has uh, some great options. You can actually use the Medicard just about anywhere. They will accept the card because you're going to need some type of insurance. Uh, there are two types of insurance here in the Philippines. International insurance and private insurance. Some of the health insurance plans that cover you in the Philippines, some will not. The bigger companies are covering here, such as uh, we're talking Maria Health and some of the other ones. In most cases, the private centers are the best places to go in Manila and Cebu and Davao. There are options in doing that. International insurance, uh, great benefits, but it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you some money. As you can see, the Medicard. Now, we have Philly Health also, Ruth and I do. We, I was grandfathered in on the old plan. It covers me up to a certain amount of money, but it's the old plan, and thank God I have that too, so it's a real good thing. Uh, Philly Health is going to cost you on the average of $300 a month depending on what plan it is and you can get as high as $400 a year. Uh, international coverage has a lot of benefits. These plans vary. Uh, some will not cover you past 70 as I said. 
look closely and say some of the guys already are coming here, have some type of plan. Now here, this is going to give you an idea on Maria Health. Uh, this, uh, as you can see, in life medical uh, seniors, thirty-five hundred dollars a year, uh, twelve thousand nine hundred, nineteen hundred, and five hundred, depending on what plan on the cards you get. Now on the cards themselves, it's limitations on that, but it'll get you in the hospital. Then you have to figure that out. Uh, the I the plan that I looked at was. Uh, 10,000 pesos a year, $200 a year, gives me all the coverage I need. And I have that also, so I have three. I have Philly Health, and I have a credit card. I have, because I'm fearful. I'm very fearful of health care here in the Philippines. Uh, our family member just went to the doctor yesterday. She was misdiagnosed this morning, uh, yesterday, and this morning we found out, come to find out she has a heart problem, and they may have to fly her somewhere else. And there's no doctors available here within 150 miles. So we have to probably go to Davo. All right. Cigna Insurance. What does it cover? What kind of plans do they cover? Cigna Insurance is starting. They have a core policy. And like I said, it depends on what kind of plan you have. It does cover inpatient treatment. It does cover you just on birth. Uh, it does cover on, uh, say, for instance, you have someone that's Somebody just decided to play music now. Go figure, right? Ah, uh, that's Philippines. They've been letting off these fireworks lately, and it's just driving everybody crazy. So inpatient treatment does cover. And um, Cigna's going to cost you about $350 to $450 a month on up. And I would say on up more like four or $500. I was paying $300 a month for Pacific Prime, and it's changed its name again. And uh, it's it went up to not like almost six hundred dollars a month, and the coverages were limited, and they do not have any coverage here where I'm at. All right, so Cigna covers international health care, but does not cover health care in the United States of America. So if you have Cigna plan, it only covers you here, but does not cover you on, in the United States. Now you can add an addendum to that plan; it'll cover you for two months or three months, but it's going to cost you some bucks. Uh, the lady told me that uh, we don't offer that, sir. And I said, there's got to be addendum. I used to sell insurance. So uh, believe me, I understand how these companies work. you got to just get down nitty gritty. So with insurance itself, plan, if you're looking as a, an American coming to the Philippines, a minimum you've got to pay is three fifty a month. And it's going to go up depending on your age and depending on your weight. And depending, you may have to go get a medical. Some insurance companies require a medical now where they never did before. They just took it as, hey, we're getting money and it's okay. So, I'm thinking this is a good thing. Uh, so, another one is Geo Blue, which is a Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Uh, they're a group of individuals. It's a U.S. health plan. And you're going to have to have your ACR card. You're going to have to have your passport and or uh, some type of identification in order to get some of these insurances and quotes even. Uh, they required me to turn in my passport. Or not turn it in to take a picture of my passport to we'll get quotes. I guess I get quotes from everybody. But make sure you find out the hospitals that are covering here. Geo Blue only covers about four hospitals here. The rest are in Davo and CDO, and they're limited. They're limited. She said that we just this month, starting December the first, we just eliminated 14 hospitals that they no longer cover. So make sure you do your due diligence. 14 hospitals that they could normally covered before are off the list in Davo, or well, off the list all over. I mean, not, but I use Davo as my stopping point or CDO. But the major hospitals that are a great bit like heart, uh, circulatory, uh, organs, things like that, eyes, are all the best in Davo. Davo has a lot of great hospitals. In fact, it's rated the number one destination for if you're sick. Now, if you have cancer and things like that, Cigna and Geo Blue will cover parts of cancer. But it, if it's a pre existing condition, they will not. Another great company is William Russell, Pacific, Pacific Prime. Uh, William Russell is going to cost you a minimum of $500 a month, and it's going to go up. It's going to vary in price. And the reason why they're doing that is because uh, rates are going up. They're going up and up and up. Because many people that are coming here, and of course many people are sick, and the hospitals themselves, themselves are struggling to keep up with the demand of the people coming. 
just yesterday, the doctor was telling Ruth, uh, he's they're having a reunion today, uh, a graduation reunion, and there were so many people there that they had to shut down early because they weren't able to see everybody. And so they cut off the time. So they told people they're coming after this point to stop coming unless it's a real emergency. Um, that's my fear, I'm just going to say. All right. William Russell, they have uh, maximum coverage. It covers up to $1.5 million to $5 million. Uh, they have inpatient and outpatient service. Uh, they cover the cancer. They do have prescription limits, but I have to tell you, th their prescription plan is really, it covers up to $6,000 in prescriptions. It covers maternity and if you have an emergency evacuation, which is very important. So for like uh, Cigna will not cover in Guam, and places like that, but this one, which is Pacific Prime, William Russell, they will do. So, uh, maternity and emergency evacuation. So, if you had to fly and had to fly you from point A to point B, William Russell is probably one of the better plans. So, if you want to take a look at that, just research William Russell online, and so they give availability. So, that might be a good one. Now, the rates vary on this one. And that, like I said, this one started uh, out, it was uh, expensive for me, $500 a month. And depending on the coverage I had on basic coverage. But really overall, if you think about it, $6,000 a year for insurance, and you're gonna pay four or $500 a month in the US. Of course, I'm on Medicare and Medicaid now, so I won't have to worry about it, but I will have to worry about it with Ruth and RR, uh, a plan. And I do find a plan in US for Ruth and RR that's gonna cost about $300 a month um, on the average. Now, uh, it, it, we're going to benefits here. You can actually see the benefit coverage and the maximum coverage, and this is the same thing, and this is the William Russell, uh, the hospital coverages, uh, things like that, and it goes on to mental health, if you have to be in a mental health situation, uh, which some would say I need to go there as a joke, uh, joke. But as you can see, out, outpatient coverage, full coverage, and uh, they have um, what they have the silver light, silver, gold, and of course the bronze plan to start off with. And you can see the coverages. And, it, and five million five million dollars. Now this is uh, this is dollars. This is not peso. Uh, this is a pretty good plan itself. We're also going to look now. This this particular one right here is this is just an overall picture of I pulled up what quotes it would be for me at 67 years old and uh, my location. Now these quotes are based on me on my location where I'm at. You can actually go in and as you can see the names here. Now, Luma, and all these, and get quotes. I'll have another page here also. It's $70 a month minimum, $187. And as you can see, it covers, is very, uh, covers what they cover here. You can actually see what they cover for that. I'll leave that on a couple more minutes so people can actually take a look at it. Take your time on looking at this. And then if you want, I, I will try to put the links in, on these on here. It took me a while. It took me over a week to get information because... I'm still waiting on information on quotes that uh, they just did not quote me. They're overwhelmed because some of these companies, like I said, in uh, December are changing their rates. Their plans are going to change. Now, let's take the ones you can see. It's the same page, same same situation here. As you see, the rates go up, and people can pay as much as depending on what they're having covered up to up to sixteen hundred dollars a month. Uh, the uh, evacuation plan. On um, William Russell is a really an inexpensive plan for about five hundred dollars a month for someone like me. Uh, I, I like that plan, but actually at the end of this video, I'm going to show you uh, the one that I like the best for me personally, and um, it's um, it gives some good information. <clears throat> we all know that insurance is an important factor, and as an expat here, we're in another country, we want to make sure we're taken care of. The problem is, is make sure where you're going that the hospitals have that have coverage because a lot of them are going to be limited on equipment that they have some will have the equipment that you need and you'll have, sometimes you have to be transported to another hospital because they don't have the scanners and the equipment and oxygen all the stuff i say oxygen all the things that need to to to, to take care of you what you'll have to do depending also depending if it's a private hospital and or uh public hospital is you'll have to purchase the items outside of the hospital so the only ones that carry the items in the hospital are the the st luke's that carry the products inside so you can actually they'll the insurance will pay the bill inside there and so 
if you go to the hospital, you can use your card. They'll bill the insurance company. There was a couple of other companies that have gone bankrupt now here in the Philippines. There was 11 companies that went bankrupt and uh, in insurance because uh, they COVID uh, broke them. GL Blue is a pretty good plan. Uh, it's an old Blue Cross and Blue Shield plan. Uh, I had that plan back in 2020, but it was hard for me to get information on the GL Blue plan. You can actually go on there and get a quote from them. They have a, a pretty good plan, uh, what I understand now. Somebody's saying they're paying $500 a month on the average at my age, so $500 a month. So you're going to figure minimum less coverage. Now, don't don't laugh at these cards. <clears throat> don't laugh at the cards, and don't laugh at this particular plan I'm getting ready to show you now. Uh, this one right here, Save the Lady, is saving the lady right now uh, $1,400 U.S. dollars a month. 1400 US dollars a month. This is a savings loan company. This is a company you have to be a member to have this plan. Basically, Ruth had, had this since she was a kid. They've been around for 80 years or so. There's their offices all throughout the Philippines. There's hundreds and hundreds of offices. In fact, there's a sheet of paper. There's so many offices on there, you couldn't count them all. This particular, if someone wants a loan, their agricultural loan or loan itself, and they have high interest rates, it's an old savings its own, is what it is. But they have their own internal plan, and uh, they give you a health card, and they, as you can see, the coverage is there. Uh, you, if you're an elderly, it does co cover 65 and above, and it costs me $40 a year. So $40 a year, but it gets us in the hospital, and then if I need something, I can whip out my credit card and Philly Health, and hopefully Philly Health, credit card, and this, I'm covered. If I am not, well, I just I'm just in trouble then. Always better, I don't care who you are and you're paying insurance here, always have a credit card for backup. And what I mean by that, at least $5,000 free and clear minimum. Really needs to be ten, honestly. $10,000 free and clear, $5,000 free and clear that you can pop down. You can actually use that card uh, to pay a bill because what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're in the hospital and Oh, sir, last month we discontinued this. We're no longer carrying this. What are you going to do? you got to pay. Now, they are not allowed to keep you in the hospital now, but there are instances where people are kept in the hospital until they figure out how they're going to pay their bill. Now, what you have to do is, in some cases, you sign a loan or a line of credit, or they attach, they put a lien on your property, or you have people promissory notes. And 10 family members assigned they're going to help pay that back. And believe me, they're, they're, you'll, you'll have to pay it back. The thing is, more than anything else here is, you're you're not in Kansas anymore. And I keep telling this to the guy. This guy told me the other day. He said, it's, they said they covered this. He was in the hospital. And he put down, gave him the credit card as he was exiting. Because they already had a copy of it. He said, well, here's the card I'm paying for. And it was Cigna. And, sir, we're not accepting Cigna anymore. Why aren't you accepting Cigna? This is in Makati. Why aren't you accepting Cigna? Sorry, we don't accept them anymore because they are not paid the bills that they owed us from the last thing. So we're not going to use them anymore. So make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure you spend the time doing this. People don't realize that that how it's going to be and what it's going to cost. So there's an example. There's your cost. There's a the cost factor. Uh, I did get some prices. Uh, one company was three hundred fifty. One company was four hundred dollars. The one company was three hundred fifty. Uh, was uh, a, a, a good, good good company. It was uh, uh, Pacific Prime, this Russell company, uh, and then they went up to uh, five hundred dollars because I added added something. I wanted to add them as dependents on there, and it moved up to five hundred dollars a month. But you can see you can get insurance for seventy dollars or hundred two hundred dollars a month. But make sure it, it coverages and make sure that you have it. Now, we have a book on our plan, on our plans that we have. We have a book on what hospitals are accepted. We did check this recently this week. For example, FICO. We asked FICO, give us the book. So FICO gave us the book. And FICO told us that, okay, here is what's separate. So we went to the hospital and asked them, do you accept this? Yes, we're accepting this. Went to another one. Yes, they're accepting this. Where I am at, I have two hospitals that they're accepted. Thank goodness they're on the plan. The others are, are in Valencia City and in Davo and CDL. So uh, I'm covered today. 
don't mean tomorrow or next month or the month in January. So remember, December the 1st, things are changing for a lot of insurance companies. Do your due diligence, check and make sure that they're going to uh, cover you and make sure that they're going to uh, still have a policy. And actually, don't talk to just some girl behind the counter. Make sure you get the sole source, the one that takes care of the billing, the one that takes care of everything. Tell them you heard that Cigna is no longer going to be covering or whomever it is. Now, Cigna says that they cover all hospitals uh, throughout uh, Southeast Asia, Guam. But they just recently took Guam and a few other places off the list. Uh, I, I had a list of them. I was going to give them out. But the video is long enough now, 20 minutes. So I knew that if I kept going on, it would be an hour video. And people aren't going to watch all hour video of it. So I want to thank everybody. And I want to thank everybody for always watching the channel. Hopefully this answered quite a few questions that people are asking about the insurance. And if I didn't answer it, just let me know. And I'll help find a, a, a thing for you so check out William Russell check out the maxi cards check out uh, if you want to check out geo blue it's a pretty good plan I understand recently a guy did a video of the plan that he had with a geo blue it's costing five hundred dollars a month geo blue recently cut the cord with some of the hospitals he found himself he paid five hundred dollars for all this year he arrived in January he paid $500 for all of it <clears throat> every month and now they're not accepting it so $500 a month at 11 months he's lost and then now no no coverage so he's saying to himself huh, what am I gonna have to go back to the states to get covered I said well in some cases some are doing that because that's the problem it changes every month every three months it changes don't think it don't and uh, recently a, a guy went flew to US and came back and has coverage found out that he had coverage here one before he left but then on the other hand does he really have coverage God bless everybody thank you so much I'm talking about Steve Steve did that and he went to the US said there's went to the US and I can get it there gets to the US and says that I can't find a doctor. So Steve says to me, I said, just go into a clinic. And when you go into the clinic, just ask for a referral. Oh, wow, what a good idea. Gets a referral, goes to the doctor of the same building that his doctor's in, ended up seeing his doctor. He said, well, come on in. So he gets a referral, going to the same place he was, gets seen, comes back here, asks about here. Oh, yeah, they have coverage here. He gets back up to Makati. Goes in there, and guess what? They don't cover him. So they're moving back to the States. God bless everybody. I'll see you guys next time on Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures.